Hey kids, and here's the big showroom floor from PowerCon ThunderCon. Want to thank my buddy uh, Kyle Peak, aka the TF Review. You should subscribe to him. Link is in the underbar. He's the, he was my cameraman over this, so he's the one filming all this footage. So here's the Wind Raider, looking absolutely amazing. Sculpt the details. It's now 45 bucks, which is still really good price. The only thing I wish. And I know this is based on the original toy. I wish that I could hold two figures, but still, that the fact that there's no more stickers, it's all sculpted detail. It looks amazing. It even has action features and rolls, and the stand looks great. And speaking of stands, here's the new Snake Mountain stands for Skeletor, Merman, Beastman, all your figures. But you actually want this for Beastman. The new Griffin, holy crap. The new head, the wings from Swiftwind, the uh, Battle Cat body. Looks amazing, can't wait to get it. The Sorceress that will be an exclusive to all non uh, Comic Con exclusives. And then Slushhead from New Adventures. Like I said, not a big New Adventures fan, but I love these figures. And there's Stinkor. I know Anthony James is really happy. And they use the Beastman body, looks amazing. Mighty Spector over there, looks great. Uh, Toy Guru made that figure. And all these other uh, figures, of course, other figures that came out already. But I'm really excited for the new reveals we just saw. Like, I'm really excited for that uh, Griffin, uh, Stinkor, Slushhead, even, and the Mighty Spector, uh, Scott Nylick, who uh, created that figure. I, I think that's really cool, and it's from that uh, Eternian Palace Guard that they based on them, so Lieutenant Spector. So, very cool. I love that little Castle Grace call uh, diorama. I wish that they um, would actually release something like that. Manny, Mattel, if you ever do that, I will buy it no matter what the price. It looks amazing. Ah! Anyway, so here's the other figures that come out. Um, Flipshot. Uh, I know, I know. He can't call him Flipshot, but he's coming out next month. Snout Spound. Can't wait for Snout Spound in November. And Swift Wind. I said this to someone at uh, at the convention. That uh, unicorn looks, I mean, Swift Wind looks so girly yet so epic at the same time. Bubble Power Shiva, which I got to review thanks to Pixel Dan at the Pop Culture Network. So make sure to subscribe to him. Subscribe to the Pop Culture Network at youtube.com forward slash pop culture network shadow weaver and there's the prototype they showed with the articulation can't wait for her and the uh, fearless photog looks amazing oh man so cool the sorceress oh i cannot wait for her and her wings are so cool i really like this a lot and demon man oh so cool and of course i got that uh, with the keldor and the other skeleton and the Dem uh, the the skeletor head uh Look at that, the Star Sisters. Looks so amazing. Even though, like I said, these are super girly looking figures because they're based on, you know, girls' uh, cartoon and toy line. I, I still love She Ra. I got to meet She Ra, and I'll get more into that later. But these look great, and you can see how they what they can do for Mecha Neck. Oh, Drago, man, looks so badass. Four Horsemen, amazing guys. So excited for that. And Cobra Khan. So excited for that. And the Thunder Punch He Man, which they, has that little uh, Thunder Punch thing that's kind of like the Seven Kingdom fingers or the uh, Scarabus figure they did. More of the uh, Masters figures and packaging. Um, just uh, figures that we've seen before. By the way, um, I have a new camera lens. Uh, if you guys know this, it is the Tamron SP AF 17 15mm f2.8 XR lens. I absolutely love this lens. Holy crap. If you can tell the quality is amazing, I, I'm i just so in love with this lens and I, I really feel like until I buy like a $3,000 camera, I really have the best camera now. Now here's the showroom floor. Um, absolutely uh, cool. Um, like I said, this is the first convention, so it's not um, it's just one big room. It's not as, as big as even BotCon or and WonderCon and all that stuff, definitely not Comic Con, but you know, has some good vendors. Hopefully, next year they even get more, definitely more uh, He Man stuff than Thundercats. I'd like to see more of that. Some good, um, in this room also had the artists, uh, Ali there. So, all the artists, there's Spy Monkey creations that make all the cool custom weapons for your Masters Universe classics. Very cool guys, Coast City Styles, very cool people too. Uh, oh, yeah, and here's yeah, some customs. Um, What's his name? Uh, English Master English. Yeah, he um, made some amazing customs there. He even made a Batman and Superman Master Universe classic. And there's me talking up in front of uh, <laughs> the, the little display booth, saying, "Oh, I can't wait to get all these figures," which I can. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Yeah, I spit it up there a little bit. <laughs> but um, here's the collectible room. 
So here, uh, by the way, these are the IKEA cases that I have, as well as Boog Nice 10 and Sharmas Prime and Senior Productions. I'll be, it's so cool to see these cases be used for like professional. Oh, look, there's me looking. So here's the 2000 X toy line. So these are just basically all the different uh, He-Man and Thundercat lines over the years. I'm surprised they didn't have the Bandai or Classics, but I guess they put the Classics in the main room. But these are all for, um, I guess, vintage figures. Oh, it's crazy to think of uh, the 2000 X figures as vintage figures now, but they are 10 years old. Here's the new Adventures uh, toy line. I never really got into, but they were actually cool figures. I try to remember if I had some. I know, but yeah, here's uh, the Shira, you know, like Swiftwind and all the her little, uh, you know, vehicle animals. And then there's the Shira toy line, very cool, so awesome. I mean, you know, very girly, but what the classics versions are doing is just so cool. I'm excited for it. And of course, the classic Masters of the Universe toy line, which I love. I'm very nostalgic. Absolutely love this. So, once again, uh, make sure you guys check out the Power uh, uh, Dashcon.com. Subscribe to the TF Review on YouTube and Pop Culture Network. Um, check out for all the pictures and more videos coming from PowerCon, ThunderCon. And remember to check out BKBN, Subway Gnome, in a big way.